All right, let's see where Kita is. I let her out. And she's not back here. She got some of her toys. This is what she does, guys. She'll come in the house and she'll bring her toys out here because she wants them to be outside with her. So there's a couple more there. Those have been out for maybe like a month. I can throw those out. But the squirrels, man, she loves the squirrels. She, she adores the squirrels. It was down to like 15. It's about, what, 44, maybe 45 now? All right. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm thinking of just throwing this out. All right, where are you? Oh, I want to show you guys something here. There you are. You want a simple uh, bird feeder idea, guys? There you go. Get a couple old frying pans. Man, all you got to do is just screw them in. And what I did, too, is I drilled the hole through the bottom of both of them. That way, when it rains, they won't fill up with water. They'll probably still fill up with water. But that way, they might drain a little bit. Are you coming over here? Hmm? You going to do some talking? You're not in the mood to talk, Kita. Man, I gotta clean your eyes. Why don't you let me clean your eyes a little bit? Come here. Come on, let me clean your eyes. Kita. All right, all right, all right. I'm gentle with her. She likes her head rub too, huh? You like a head massage. I have that little thing that has like the four legs that moves around I bought just for her. Huh? Oh, we gotta put the hair back where it was. We gotta put the Empire State Building back where it was. Alright, you want me to quit? Okay. Alright. You gotta let me wash those, man. Now, ah, where are you going? You leaving me, guys? I'll tell you, man. It is colder than a nun from Tucum Carry, man. It is so cold out here. I just can't handle the cold no more. The one thing I want to tell you guys to have your big dogs is uh, a big dog motorcycle is hard to start in cold weather. Right now I'm having a hard time for it to, for it to, uh, to start. And uh, usually when it gets cold, well not usually, all the time. When it gets cold it won't start. Because I remember the last two years that's what it did to me. And I thought the, the, the EHC was crapping out. Then when it warmed up, it starts, you know, with no problem. But I did run the battery down, and that's why I'm... Um, um, I used that hickey there, and uh, then it was firing on one piston, um, on one spark plug. Meanwhile, the spark plugs are brand new. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's the problem with the with the big dogs, the EHCs. I mean, the, the, now the new EHC, I don't know. I don't know if that takes care of the problem. It probably does. So I'm thinking of changing it over to all Harley Electronics. 
That's what I'm thinking of doing. Because a new a new EHC for that's about eight hundred dollars, plus shipping. You know. Now, if it's around eight hundred bucks to change over to Harley Electronics, I'll do that. You know, because um, the Harley Electronics guys apparently they're more reliable. You know, they're a lot more reliable. So that's what that's where I am right now. That's what I'm thinking of doing. I have it charging. Uh, it's warming up a little bit. You know, it, uh, it that's what it did last year. It'll it'll start once it warms up. But I I still can't have that. You know, I I can't I can't rely on it. So uh, as for the motor in the garage, I got a motor. I just have to put the motor on. I got a real nice, uh, a real nice genie uh, garage door opener with a battery backup. I got this uh, Carhartt hoodie and a pair of shoes with what's left on a gift card because I sent away for 454 Casul through Sportsman Warehouse. When I paid for them, it showed in stock, right? And then a week later, items are delayed. I ordered three boxes of 20 for 100 and came to $127. And then a week later, it showed out of stock, delayed, don't know when they'll be in again. So I asked them, I canceled it. And I had to go through the Better Business Bureau once again to get them to reload the gift card. So I got this hoodie and a pair of shoes. You know, so what I'll do is I'll get the 454s for cheaper than dirt. And some some uh, Colt 45s. 45 Colt up cheaper than dirt too. But uh, I have a holster. I have a real nice leather holster for that coming in. It's actually coming out of Istanbul, Turkey. It's a real nice leather holster. That should be in next week, according to, uh, as long as there's no holdup on customs. It's pretty nice leather holster. And uh, it's, it's a uh, shoulder holster. And it also has two compartments for the uh, additional, the additional uh, I guess you call them clips, or moon clips. So that's where we are right now with the big dog, guys. Yeah, you know, for those of you guys that have the big dogs, and uh, you're trying to, or it's like maybe it's real cold where you are, and you're having a, it, it's having a hard time to start. They all do that. That's perfectly normal. You know, now I don't know if the new HC EHC will solve that. I don't know. You know, um, you figure if you change over to all Harley, you're going to have to get rid of your uh, your handlebar controls. So that's going to be an additional cost, you know. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth to do. You know, I kind of like those uh, handlebar controls. So I, I emailed... A dude out in uh, West Mifflin that works on big dogs, if he's willing to do that, you know, if he's willing to change it over at all, Harley. So, I'll see what he says, and I'll see if I get a price off. You hear the dogs barking, huh? So far, no birds have gone to our feeders. All right, are you coming inside? Hmm, I gotta start cooking dinner. I got six hundred dollars left to pay in the vacation. I have till uh, forty-five days prior to arrival to pay that, so we can go on vacation with you. you coming in. All right, guys, I got to start cooking dinner.
Guys, I also wanted to say I want to thank everybody for sticking with this channel. I have completed the application to be a YouTube partner, part of the YouTube partner program. So I'm actually able to start earning some money from these videos. I got monetized. If you notice, I changed my name on YouTube to Vince Caporizzo. That's my real name. Uh, the reason why I did that was so that I can cash the checks or, or deposit the checks that I'm given. Because Nick Aussie, it was actually my name, but turned turned around. You know, uh, Nick was uh, the CEN from Vince, and Aussie was part of my last name. Why why I chose that? Don't ask me. But um, see, when you have a fictitious name. You, if you cash a check that's sent to you with that fictitious name, you have to have a tax number. And the way you get a tax number in Pennsylvania is you have to register your company, whether it's an LLC or a corporation or a company, you have to register it with the state of Pennsylvania. And that costs $75 in a couple of months. And then when they send you the information, they send you your tax number. That, go, that goes to your fictitious name. That way, when you go to the bank with a check, you know, the bank wants to make sure you're paying taxes on that. So, do they say, do you have a tax number? I'll hold the sneeze back. Uh, and you go there, well, let's say, for instance, YouTube sends me a check for $35. I go to my bank, I'd like to cash this. Well, this is a fictitious name. Do you happen to have a tax number, sir? Can I see your tax number? Here you go. Otherwise, you can't cash the check with a fictitious name. Unless if it's your real name. You know, because um, a bank only reports deposits when they're $10,000. They have to be $10,000 or more and they report it to the IRS. So let's say, for instance, I sell my big dog for $11,000. I deposit that. They report that. So I'd have to pay tax on that money. So the, uh, th that's why I changed the name. Because I, I got monetized, finally. I met the requirements, finally. And uh, I might start making, you know, it's not going to be much, guys. It's going to be like some pocket change, you know. It'll be like, you know, maybe $10, $20, maybe $5, you know. That's, that's better than nothing. So, um, that's why I wanted to thank everybody. And, uh. So I just wanted to say that, and uh, I'm going to start cooking now. I'm making, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to make hamburger. I'm mixing green diced bell pepper in my hamburger with onions, diced stuff mixed in with it, and we're going to have mashed potatoes and gravy and french fries for dinner. That's what I'm making. So once again, I want to thank all you for helping me. And my what for helping my wife, me, and my dog Kita, my Siberian Husky. You know, um, for those of you don't that don't know what I do for a living, I pick up garbage. Okay, I'm a garbage man. My back right now, guys, is, it has been screaming. It's like my back's taking turns. My left side hurts, then my right side hurts, and both sides hurt. Then my left side hurts like right now. My right side hurts. And you know, it's funny because I stopped, 
I ran out of Omega XL. As soon as I ran out of that, my, my back started hurting. So I sent away for another bottle. And uh, I want to see. I'm going to start taking that again. I want to see if my, if my muscle pain goes away. You know, because I'm thinking, I told my wife this. I said, I'll bet you they made something that you have to get addicted to so you have to keep on buying it. So I'm going to see if there's anything to that. When that's supposed to come in on Sunday. And that little teeny weeny, teeny weeny little bottle for $48. It's going to come in on Sunday. I'm going to start taking those again. I'm going to see if my back pain goes away. You know, because I, this last, these last two weeks, guys, I have been worthless. I have been totally worthless. My, every muscle of my body. Oh, God, I shouldn't be wiping my nose and my, on my new jacket. Every muscle in my freaking body is killing me. And I think it's because I ran out of those tablets. So, uh, hold on, my guys. Oh, man, I'll tell you. So, yeah, that's what's going on with the big dog right now. It's not starting. And it'll, like, it, it'll fire, but it, it's not starting. And that's because that EHC is cold. Because I remember that's what it did to me last year and the year before that and the year before that. You know, and you kind of like you throw the chips in, oh, I got to get a new EHC, you know, and then as soon as it warms up, bam, it starts right up like it ain't no thing. So, all right, guys, yeah, when this, when that holster comes in, I mean, you got to check this holster out. It holds holsters, it's a leather holster. It costs $180. It's a nice holster. All right.